This return is my return to a world, a universe that I have uh, touched in uh, 2006, 15 years ago. The film was a great success, and we decided to go back to the best of his stories. I mean, Silent Hill 2. The film is the story of a young guy coming back to Silent Hill, where he has known uh, a great love, and what he's going to find is a, a pure nightmare. I have the chance of being very close with Christoph, and we together has achieved to, to convince Konami that there is a new uh, version of Silent Hill that needs to be done, and they are 100% on board. In the first Silent Hill, we were exploring a world, the world of this small town, completely closed into, into the mist. It was like being trapped into the, a twilight zone. But in the second game, you know, the, the creator of the game have changed the rules, you know. We were basically going back to Silent Hill, the same town, but we were looking this strange world entirely through the, the point of view of the hero we were playing. Mary, could you really be in this town? He realized that Mary is lost somewhere into this strange place. At its core, it's also the idea of the myth of Orpheus and whatever a, a man can go deep in hell to bring back the soul or the person he loved the most in his life. So it's much more about psychological horror. Even if we are going to find again all the same creature and the same strange terror sequence, something like that, but the first big interrogation and the first big terror is about ourselves. Are we mad? Are we sane? Are, are we sane to go back to Silent Hill to find this great love? This one now has so many years from the first one that there is a clear idea from Christoph to make it modern, but also very true to the video game. And that's also what it is. We are also respecting the will of the author, the producers, and Konami into this uh, adaptation. Christoph, it's really somebody that respects the work that has been done, but that also has his own vision. It nurtures the creative vision of the authors from the game, but with a different vision from a filmmaker. And both, they have created, I believe, something that has struck the minds of the fans. James! Stop! Leave her alone! The Game of Silent Hill franchise were great artistic achievements, and I have a responsibility to transpose that on a big screen, you know? Christoph is a real gamer. He has been immersed in this world. That's why um, the first film was so well received by the fans of Silent Hill, because they felt that uh, I was one of them, and it was so important for me to, to respect the original creation, you know. That, that was the base, the, the start of everything. Everything starts from this respect. So I'm going with a maximum of humility, maximum of respect, but in the same time I have quite a charge, quite a goal, which is how to transpose the language of the game, which is entirely about immersion, into a tale, into a story that we can tell in 90 or 100 minutes. The monsters are also one of the key elements that the fans are waiting for. And we are updating those in a way that the creation is similar, but they will be striking. For me, one of my major goals in, in, in this film is how to redesign the classic monster of Silent Hill. Uh, I was talking about Red Pyramid, you know, this big guy with the helmet, you know. He's, again, in this one. Some of the creatures of the film of uh, back in uh, 2006 were very, very appreciated by, by the fan. But in the same time, for me, it was, it was important to come back with, with surprise. It's a new universe. It's a new challenge. And those are very important to bring these icons differently to the audience because they want them to have that wow effect. 
That's why, you know, I found a very interesting collaboration with the people of Konami. They helped me a lot to achieve this new design of the monster, because they are also working on new episodes for the franchise of Silent Hill. The younger audience, they want that collective experience. They want to be with their friends, they want to talk about it, but they want also to live that experience together. We all know that uh, watching an horror film alone at his home is quite different of being into a big theater with a crowd and, and everybody jumping at the same time. It's very different. We are modernizing. We are giving him what the audience of today is really wanting. We are trying to do as much as possible, creating a new experience for that audience. Could be more immersive, interactive, and we have now new technologies, but we still have what makes the best is the story. And this story is at the core of it. So we hope that Return to Silent Hill will be a great return. And if we want uh, to keep the link with the audience, you know, we have to, to be perfectly aware that everything has changed in 15 years. Everything has been washed away, you know. We have to bring back something, you know, very surprising.